Hi you guys, it's me Janmia. I'm gonna show you the hair and makeup addiction brushes. I just received these yesterday, so I'm really excited to try them on. Uh, I used these brushes to do the look that I'm wearing right now and it worked great. They're all really soft and really smooth, like so smooth I can't even describe it. So, and they pick up color really well even though they're all synthetic and this is the whole luxury set. It's got uh, the um, face brushes and the eye brushes. So you can go to their website and check it out. They have some more sets and deals for you guys. This turned out kind of like a tutorial-ish also. So if you want to see how I did this look and if you want to see how these brushes work, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start with the foundation. The classic painter, MAC Mineralize. It's a little more dense than the other foundation brushes I have. It seems to be doing its job. I'm gonna switch to the buffer. Okay, yeah, this is way better, I think. It's softer. This is actually really nice. So it's not shedding and it's really smooth and it feels amazing. When it goes on, it's like you can't even feel it. It's a weird feeling. It's so soft. Next brush I'm gonna try out is the Queen to apply my concealer and I'm using the cover on mix from Makeup Store. My other concealer that I'm using is the Reflex cover from uh, Makeup Store. So I'm gonna try to um, just make this one smaller with my fingers. Apply this concealer right in the bag. For the powder I'm using the Cryolan uh, translucent powder, the finisher. This brush is also very smooth and soft and I like it. I like it a lot. It works for powder perfectly. Uh, no problems, no shedding. As with all the other brushes. After I've applied powder, I'm gonna use the Ilamasca Sculpt Duo sculpting part with the Chisler. It fits perfectly into the little hollow part here, the crease blender. For the highlight part, I'm using the blusher, the highlight part. Fits really nice, right here on the cheekbone. For the blush, I'm still using the blusher brush, Lavish Living by MAC. I feel like the blusher brush uh, works better with the highlight. I guess it depends on your cheekbones. A lot of people love this for blush, but for me, uh, it works better as a highlight part than the actual blush. So now it's time for my brows, and I have a video on how I do my brows. Check that out if you want the details. The liner brush, angled brush, and I think it will work great for my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this real quick. So what I can say from using this brush with the dip brow is that it works amazing. It's easy to uh, get that sharp line and um, I had no difficulty at all with it, just positive feedback with this little liner brush. It works great with powder as well. And now I'm gonna use the groomer and brush the a few amount of hair that I have. Brows done. Time for the shadows. The shadow insurance. The shader. I'm using blank type from MAC. Now I'm gonna use my lavish palette. Orange soda with the same brush. I'm getting a really good pigmentation or color payoff with this brush. It's really soft. You can almost not feel it. Taking sienna with the same brush. So my next brush that I'm gonna try is the Crease Blender. It's got a little bit of a point to it, so it will fit quite perfectly in the crease. Matte Cork. I'm blending out the, um, the cork right there with the highlighter. The detailer, it's got a point.
This is good because you can get detailed with it. Uh, that, I guess that's why it's called the detailer. <laughs> you can get right in where you want to be and not worry that it's going to be too messy and all over the place. The blender. Blend at the top over here. So to get some more definition, I'm going to use black diamond. applying this with a detailer so because I don't want the black to go everywhere I just want it to be in this outer corner crease blender so I'm going back and forth between all the eye brushes so I'm done with the eyeshadow and I really like the brushes so now it's time just for me to pop on some eyeliner so I usually just put on a black cold pencil, this is from Makeup Store in my waterline and then a lot underneath. Now I'm gonna blend, I'm gonna use a detailer, a brownish greyish color from face.com, it's called Joy. Liquid liner and this is from Illamasqua. It's time for my lashes pixie looks by House of Lashes on the top and Precious on the bottom. Lashes on! Mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal. Lastly, I want to try the Multitasker brush. Uh, I don't know if it's just my brush that I got, but it's like uneven. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if it's just mine. I'm gonna use this brush with a bronzer. Sun Touched by Makeup Store. It's a matte bronzer. So I think this brush is a little too bouncy and wobbly. It would be nice if it was all this thick part uh, and then like more dense or something because like these parts are like just wobbling around you can also go like this great for the neck so that's all the brushes I think they all work really great they're really soft and they pick up color I, I've always been one of those people that like the real hair uh, brushes because I want them to be soft uh, but these are all synthetic and they're all great. They work better than a lot of my brushes actually. So and they're for a really good price. I'm gonna line my brush. No, I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna line my lips with Natural by Makeup Store. And then the lipstick is 402 by Makeup Store. And I'm gonna finish this look with some lip gloss. I'm using the Chanel 151. Like so. Yeah. Yay, okay, I'm done. So thank you guys and I will see you in another video or on Instagram, it's Jemia Makeup. Bye bye.